The Oklahoma City Museum of Art breathing a sigh of relief tonight. This is really a bizarre story that starts with a man who went to admire an exhibit but ended up leaving with an extra souvenir and it was not from the gift shop. News 9's Brittany Tulis with the story. The Oklahoma City Museum of Art didn't have any giant empty frames like the ones still holding the places of the stolen paintings at Boston's Gardner Museum, but a keen-eyed employee did notice one of the glass works didn't have one of its pocket-sized pieces. That piece? A shard of the Rose family glass collection. Uh, the collection itself is over 150 pieces of glass, and we have more than a third of those currently on view. The works, adding to the Oklahoma City Museum of Art's already extensive and expensive collection of contemporary studio glass. It's a world-class collection, so many of the pieces in that collection are very valuable. We hadn't, prior to this exhibition, from our knowledge, ever had a theft of any piece. On October 11th, that changed. We were doing a routine check of the gallery and uh, two of our uh, members of the collection staff noticed that one of the small pieces of a larger installation was missing and we knew there was no reason for it to be missing. Michael Anderson, the museum's president, says they immediately checked security tapes. We're able to identify a probable suspect. We didn't immediately know um, all of the details of the theft upon discovering its absence. So, of course, we were very concerned with the condition of it. Court documents show museum member Christopher Lambert swiped a small piece of glass from a larger glass work, put it in his pocket, and walked out, but he didn't leave. Those records say he put the $70,000 piece of glass under his car tire and went back in Side to finish his tour. So we actually got the piece back within a week. Thankfully, when we got it back, it was still in pristine condition. It wasn't damaged. The museum's president says they want to keep which piece was taken under wraps. Lambert is facing one felony theft charge. In the newsroom, Brittany Tulis, Oklahoma's own News 9.